all by myself. One day in, one day out, on top, then you're down. <sighs> Highs and oh my God. Keep swirling, <sighs> walk these streets like <sighs> you're beating. This isn't so bad. <sighs> break that you need. Come on, man. Oh my God. <clears throat> I've spotted rock. Man. Oh, baby. Alright, I'm out here by myself. Not gonna lie. It's a little scary, and I feel like I'm gonna be murdered. Um, but I'm probably not gonna be. So it should be fine. I'm gonna try a problem that's way too hard for me. But hopefully one day I could get it as a project. I think it's like V8 or V9, but it's like super my style. Um, I feel like it's probably soft, but I don't know. I haven't even tried it, so let's get a shot. Future Zeke here, coming in with some clutch commentary. This is a sick boulder I saw someone else climbing last time I was at Empire Boulders. Excuse my groove in nature, but it helped me keep warm, and sometimes dancing takes a little bit away of uh, my climbing anxiety. But I don't do it around other people because then it gives me real anxiety. The first moves of this boulder didn't go so well, and I know now that my beta might not have been the best, so I moved on to the middle section. As you can see, I was trying to adjust this pad in the most scuffed of ways by sticking one of the flapper edges into the dirt. And it went super well. This problem has a massive heel hook into a shitty intermediate pinch, which you then have to immediately bump off of. The heel is one of those that can be so good if you get it perfectly that you are scared your leg won't come off, especially if you have one pad. So I often chickened out. The left hand on the problem is good at first, but the higher you bump away from it, the more incredibly useless it becomes. It's actually kind of wild bowling it alone by yourself. And I'm kind of a fan, but also a wimpy bitch. I would be inclined to go way more often if it was closer. It's not even that far. I'm lucky to have a place that's half decent an hour and a half away from my house, but driving is boring, gas is expensive, my life sucks. Anyways, right here I started to notice that I could get way more leverage on the big bump if I actually use my other foot. Crazy, right? There isn't really any foot piece to use, but just smearing it against the wall and trying to, you know, get some push out of the old bastard makes this move seem a lot more doable. And I got a flapper. Anyone else really starting to hate getting flappers in the age of hand sanitizer? I feel like a macho, macho, chi macho chist when I willingly put hellfire on my hands multiple times a day. On my last attempt, I am starting to feel like I can do the move, but I prefer to have more pads, so I'll come back another day. This is another V6, V7 called Natasha. I am legitimately pulling as hard as I can, but I am getting nowhere. I've done every move except one foot move and one hand move, basically, but honestly it just wasn't happening today. Sometimes it do be like that. This last boulder is a V3 I was working on a long time ago when I first came to Empire, and was actually one of the first outdoor boulders I had tried. I forgot my beta every time for the beginning because it isn't super obvious, but once I get it down, it's pretty easy. Here it is, you get a lovely high foot and go to a weird sloper slash crimp thingy. This 
problem was a little nerve-wracking because, as you'll see later, the top is not the easiest. Before you get to the jugs over the end, at least. By this time, my fingers were already a little sore and my skin was dying. There's a better look at the piece I'm going to and that I will be matching with my hand. It's quite a difficult match to get perfectly, but it is solid if you can get your right hand in the best spot. The problem is that you first catch the spot with your lefty and then have to readjust for the match. It took me quite a few tries to get that match, and it really felt like one of the cruxes for the bowling for me. I was super close to finishing the boulder, but I just couldn't get high enough at the top to grab over the lip. I for sure have plenty of span to spare, I just have to push up farther with my foot, and it's a scary move. On this go, I was just shaking so hard, just cause with the adrenaline and just being scared. I actually almost left after this. But I decided to give it one more go, and I'm glad I did. It's a great boulder, and a great time, even if right now it's in my own head. There you have it. It was a great adventure. I'm sure I'll come back another time soon. I trusted my feet way more than I did last time I came here. Oh my god, so good. I'm so glad I sent that boulder. I thought I'd be too scared to. Um, maybe I should have been. <laughs> I didn't set a challenge for myself, so I have no excuse to eat yummy food, but I love fajitas. Alright, get a knife. Totally not dull at all. Peel two onions. Look at how fast I'm going. You want to go this fast to not waste your time. Now, lift up your knife say, fuck this. Take your onion and throw it in the freezer. Maybe not on the ice cubes. That's better. You're gonna wanna cut two of these big strawberry looking things. Again, the faster the better. I don't know why you're taking your time. You're wasting my time. Oh, oh, oh. Pet Buster while you wait for onions to freeze. He appreciates it. What the hell is going on in here? Thank you. 
Now that your onions are nice and crispy, you're going to take that nice and slice right through them. I probably should have mentioned that my frozen to the juice wouldn't make me cry. It's not weird. I promise it's a thing. It's, it's bowl, bowl time. It's chicken time. Preheat the oil a little bit, because I don't wait for shit. <laughs> slice that chicken real good. Again, you could use a good knife, but then you wouldn't be training your grip strength for climbing. Anyways, smaller pieces are better, because no one actually likes the taste of chicken. Drop the raw chicken on your phone. It's a very, very important step. Watch your hands, kids. Turn that bitch up way high. Not actually that high. Cook the chicken. Unless you want to turn your life difficulty rating up to hard mode, then maybe don't cook the chicken. Stir the chicken. Is this commentary really necessary? Do the dishes like a good little boy. No one likes someone who doesn't do the dishes. Veggies in. Veggies steam. I feel like I shouldn't have to keep telling you to stir, but you never know. Now this is the good shit. There was only one at the store. That's actually my favorite part of cooking this. I feel like I could eat this dust raw. Wait for it. I'm not gonna show you every time I stir. Stir your own goddamn food. I promise I have never cut my fingers doing this. This right here is what I like to call a pro guacamole move. Nice. Smash that stuff. If you don't salt your avocado, what are you even doing? Why add lots of stuff you won't even taste anyways? Yeah, that's good. Oh, baby. Looking real good, baby. Now this is basically Build-A-Bear, except you eat the bear. Now this is what I like to call a pro burrito move. I actually hate myself. <laughs>